Hello fashion makers, welcome to the first part of the basic bodies class. So the measurements, the most important measurements for this particular um, basic bodies are your bust measurements, your waist and your top hip. And you also need their length, so from your shoulder to the bust point, to the waist and to also the top hip, you need this length. So the top hip mostly is also the um, top length. So you need this, then your bust measurements, your waist measurements and the hip measurements are circumference, which will be divided by four. Let's get into the video. So we've done our measurements. So now you have to take note of some things. You have to take note of which of these measurements, the circumference measurement, because the bust is circumference round you, the waist is also round your body. So you have to consider which of these ones are bigger. Now, if you look at my own measurements, you see that my bust and my top hip are the same. They are 12 inches by the time I add my two inches. So they are bigger than the other measurements. So that's what we use to fold our uh, material. But in this case, since this paper will be in single, like this, so we are cutting half of the front right now. This is the front pattern. This is going to be half of the front. That is why we divided by four, so that the measurement we have will be one quarter of our whole body. If you have any questions, please do drop it. Okay, so let's jump straight into the first thing I have to do. Now, the first thing I want to do to show you the where that 12 inches actually stops on this paper. I'm going to mark 12 inches all the way down. 12 inches. Okay, so I have mark the 12 inches. You see, this line represents half of my. So you have your 8 and half inches. 8 and half inches, which is my own measurement. So use yours. Then we're also going to mark the neck. The neck for every adult when you are using free hand is two and a half. So we use that. But you know women outfits, women's outfits, we always have different styles and we also we have our preferences. Okay, so if you don't want something too uh, too close to your neck, you can always do as much as you like. You can do three and a half, you can do six. You can do even as much as seven, like for my own measurement now, I can do as much as seven. But I'm going to stick to three and a half. And I'm also going to mark the two and a half. And I'm going to tell you the reason why. But wait, let's continue. I'll tell you why I have to mark these two and a half and I also have to mark three inches. Then the next thing will be the neck deepness. How deep do you want it to be? How low do you want it to be? Some people may want their cleavage to show, some may want it to be higher. Whatever your customer decides they want, that's what you do. So, but in this case, I'm going to be using uh, four inches. So, I'm just going to connect it with my three and a half. So, you can use the cover You can also practice with your hands. Your hands. Since we are just starting, your hands will not be steady. So if you could get a curve ruler, a French curve or a pattern master, so that everything is nice and clean. Nice and clean, just like that. So you see, my pattern master makes everything so Alright, then the next thing we'll do is to go to the armhole. So the armhole falls where your back. Uh, your back is so now what that means is to get our armhole you have to divide your bust by six plus one point five inch so when you divide your bust by um, six and then plus one point five inches I get eight about eight point eight point five inch so that is what I will be using for my body. But now there is something very important that you need to know. Our shoulders are not straight as in we are our shoulders are not straight as in we are not like we are not a square or a box. So our shoulders slant. Now to get that slant you also have to look at your customer or yourself. If your shoulders are very very slant you use one and one quarter. This is one quarter 
this is one quarter. So we're going to use one and one if your shoulder is very fat. But if your shoulder is like just regular, you can use one inch in and it's fine. So I always use one inch for my measurement. So this I'm going to flat. Now that brings us back to why I said we have to mark this two and a half inch. So for us to slant our shoulder, we are going to slant from two and a half inches and not from the neck wide. Let me come again. From the half of my body, I mark two and a half inches. I also mark three and a half inches, which is going to be the wideness of my neck. Then I mark my back. Now, because I want my shoulder to slant, if you notice, close to your neck, your neck, go to your neck, your, uh, your shoulder is kind of higher, but it slants down when it goes closer to your arm. So that is what we're trying to achieve here. We're trying to achieve that here. So we must also use this two and a half to slant it down to where your back, your arm, um, um, mix each other. So we are going to do that. After that, we're just going to draw our uh, arm hole from where this land, where that one inch stops. So my arm hole is eight and a half. So I'm going to rule it with the with the back measurement. 